may be seated and we invite the young children to come forward for the children's devotion. what this is. What's it? It's a hammer. It's, it's a gavel. And you know who uses this gavel? A judge. A judge will use this on his bench and he'll pound it to get everyone's attention and then he's going to make his decision on whether someone's guilty or innocent. So I want you to imagine that you're in God's courtroom. And he's sitting there on his bench, and he's got his gavel. Is he going to find you guilty or innocent? Well, let's think about this. Have you guys ever do anything naughty? Yeah? Uh, so what kind of things do other kids do that's naughty? I'm not going to make you tell me what you do naughty, but what are, what are other kids that you see that is naughty? Anything? Do you, do you see them always paying attention in class? No. Do they always sit still when maybe the pastor comes to read? No. How about to do their, maybe your brothers or sisters or your friends, do you think they always listen to their parents? No. Do you think sometimes they might talk back to their parents or their, their teachers? Yeah. So our... And I'm going to guess that you guys do the same kinds of things. So do you think that you're guilty? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. And do you think that adults are guilty too? Do you think, do you think adults do naughty things too? Yeah. And God should pound his gavel and say that we're guilty. And if you were in a court here on earth, and then it'd be pretty scary. If that judge is going to pound his gavel, you know you're guilty and he's going to put you away for in jail for years. But now God could find us guilty to put us in hell for eternity. That's pretty scary, isn't it? So what does God do? We hear today that God is going to judge us righteous. That means we're right with God. And how could we be right with God if we're guilty? Who makes us right? God does. Jesus does, right? Jesus comes and he takes all of the naughty things that you do, all the naughty things that your parents and everyone else does, even the naughty things I do, and he takes them on himself. And then what does that make you? If you were guilty, but now Jesus <coughs> is guilty, it makes you innocent, <coughs> doesn't it? You're innocent of any wrongdoing so that God will pound his gavel and he says, you're innocent, you're free to go. You get to go to heaven. And now you're going to be excited about that. So let's be excited and let's pray to God and thank him. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are our judge. And if we were unbelievers, we would be afraid of you being our judge. And yet, we are grateful that you are our judge because we know that you sent Jesus not to judge us based on our righteousness, how right we are and what we've done, because we know we're unrighteous, that we are sinful, that we have done lots of naughty things. Instead, we thank you that Jesus has taken all of those sins, all of those crimes, all of those naughty things on himself, and you will judge us now and for eternity innocent. We thank you for Jesus. Amen. We continue with the congregation singing our hymn of the day.